cannot connect to web services. Some HP printers support web-connected printing services like HP Smart and HP Instant Ink Delivery Services. If the device is having issues accessing these services, follow these steps. Note, these troubleshooting steps apply to all HP printers except for models with an e-designation in their product number purchased in 2020 or later. Make sure your printer supports web services. Look for an HP ePrint logo, button, or icon on the printer control panel. Older models that support web services may have a black logo or sticker. Make sure your printer has an active, wireless internet connection and is not connected with a USB cable. To connect to web services, the printer needs to be connected to a wireless network. If the printer is connected to the computer with a USB cable, Disconnect the cable and use the wireless setup wizard on the printer's control panel to connect to the internet. Check the network and printer connection status. If you are using a wireless router, check your router's documentation to make sure it meets the requirements. Many routers can operate in both 2.4 GHz and 5.0 GHz frequency bands, and some HP printers support both bands. Make sure the 2.4 GHz router band is broadcasting and connect the printer to this Wi-Fi signal. On the printer, open the Wireless Network menu or Settings menu to verify that the wireless feature is turned on. Then make sure the blue wireless icon light is solid. Make sure you are directly connected to a network such as your home or workplace wireless network. If you are connected to a guest or host network, such as networks found in schools, hotels, or a guest login on a home network, you will not be able to connect to HP's web services. To resolve many connectivity issues, restart the computer, the printer, and the router. After turning off all the devices, restart the router. When the router's internet activity lights display a normal connected status, turn on the printer, and then turn on your computer. Using the printer's embedded web services to turn on its web services might resolve communication issues with the printer's control panel. First, print a network configuration page. For printers with an LCD or a touchscreen display, print the network configuration page from the wireless network settings or setup menu. On your control panel, press the HP ePrint icon. If your control panel does not have an HP ePrint icon, navigate to Web Services Setup, Network Setup, or Wireless Settings to open the Web Services menu. If a summary screen displays, Web Services is already on. If a prompt to turn on Web Services or set up HP ePrint displays, follow the prompts to turn it on or set it up. If you are prompted to update the firmware, press OK. For printers without an LCD or a touchscreen display, print the network configuration page using the appropriate button combinations on the printer control panel. For most non-touchscreen printers, press the wireless and information buttons at the same time, or press the wireless and start copy black buttons at the same time. For HP DeskJet 6000 and 6400, Envy 6000 and 6400, and Tango printers, Touch and hold the information button until all control panel buttons light up, and then touch the information and resume buttons at the same time. On the network configuration page printout, locate the URLs for the embedded web server address. On your computer, open an internet browser and type the URL address for the EWS, then press enter. If a website security certificate displays in the internet browser, click continue or advanced. Then proceed to the URL. On the EWS web page, click the Web Services tab. Click Continue, Turn On, or Enable, and then follow the on screen instructions. If your printer connects to the embedded web services, you're finished, and you can use the printer. If the issue persists, continue to the next step. If the wireless network uses a proxy server, update the web services setting in the printer's EWS by entering the proxy information. If your computer uses Windows, search for Internet, then click Internet Options. The Internet Properties window will appear. Click the Connections tab and click on the name of the wireless network. Then click Proxy and click Proxy Settings in the list of results. Scroll down to view your network's proxy server information. 
write down the IP address and the port number for your proxy server connection. On Apple computers, open System Preferences and then click Network. On the Network page, click Advanced. Click the Proxies tab and then select your proxy if necessary. Write down the IP address and the port number for your proxy server connection. Back on the EWS, click the Web Services tab and then click Proxy Settings. Type the IP address and port number for your proxy server connection and then click Apply. Try to turn on Web Services by clicking the Continue button. If the service turns on, you are finished and you can use the printer. If the issue persists, continue to the next step. HP regularly releases printer updates. Updating the printer firmware might resolve the issue. Make sure the printer is turned on and connect it to the computer using either your wireless network or a USB cable. Open a web browser and go to support.hp.com forward slash go forward slash drivers forward slash printers. Search for your printer by typing the model name into the search field. Click Firmware and then click Download. If a firmware section is not listed, an update is not currently available for your printer. If an update is available, after you have finished downloading it, locate the file on your computer, then open the file to start the installation process. For Windows users, the HP Printer Update window opens. If the serial number displays, select the checkbox next to it and then click Update. If the serial number displays but the status is not applicable, you do not need the firmware update. Click Cancel. When the update is completed, click OK. If you connected a USB cable to update your network printer, remove the USB printer driver installed by Windows. To properly disconnect the USB printer driver, search Windows for the Control Panel and then click Control Panel in the results. Click Devices and Printers. Right-click the USB printer device that matches your printer model and then select Remove Device. And then disconnect the USB cable from the printer and the computer and restart the computer. For Mac OS users, when the download is complete, open the printer underscore name dot DMG file. Double-click HP Firmware Updater. Click the name of the printer and then click Continue. The updater checks the firmware version installed on the printer and then displays the results in the Update Information window. If Device is ready to be reflashed, Displays, click Continue to update the firmware. If this firmware updater does not contain upgrades for your device, Displays, the printer firmware is already updated to the most recent version, click Cancel to exit the updater. When the update completes, click Done or OK. Outdated router firmware might affect its performance, security, or prevent the router from accessing the Internet. Make sure your router is using the most recent firmware update. Check your router's manual to find out how to check for updates. If the issue persists, continue to the next step. Performing a factory reset on your printer may resolve the issue. Depending on your printer model, the steps to perform a factory reset may differ. You can find the specific process for resetting your printer model by visiting support.hp.com and typing in your printer model. If you still cannot connect to HP's web services, service the printer. Contact HP for service and warranty options. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages and search our channel to find official HP support videos.